Today, I spend 200 days in Sons of the Force, doing everything I can to find and bring Virginia home and fending off the relentless stampede of cannibals every single night. We even found ourselves the very new and improved hang glider from the Force, now in Sons of the Force officially. There was even a new event that took place by the end of our playthrough, but you're going to have to wait and see for that one. So without further ado, I spend 200 days in Sons of the Force and here's what happened. With another big journey ahead of us, we would need to check supplies, food and water mostly. Anything we'd need for the venture back home. It wasn't too bad as we started through the forest, looking over our GPS occasionally and making sure we didn't get lost. With every peek at the GPS, it also seemed Kelvin was getting closer and closer to us. <laughs> my boy Kevin! Uh, I know, Kelvin. His name is Kelvin. I'm gonna say Kevin. I get it. A lot of people might not like that. I like Kevin. I like. It's so simple. It's so simple. We even had another close encounter with a mighty moose. Oh my god, look at the mooses out in the wild. Crikey, it's a big one! Oh, hi. Mr. Moose, Mr. Moose. No, 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 I thought you were gonna hit me. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Now, if I wanted to make it down this mountain alive, we would need protection. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> look at this guy. Alright. Now let's get off this thing. As we arrived back home, it was only a matter of time before we became tired with the whole situation that was cannibals. There she is. Oh. Okay, well now. <laughs> okay. Hello, hi guys. No, please let me alone. As more time passed throughout the day, it seemed as though Virginia still wanted our food. So that was good. So you guys just said, when you see her, don't move, don't do anything. Oh, she's running. The only thing left to do was fill our stomachs and see what Calvin was up to. Hi, Kevin. How you doing up there, buddy? I think he's eating food from where? <gasps> he's a wizard. Oh, I got to give this wizard a task. I need you to go and get this. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. I will use the ad money to buy cat food. Introducing you to the world of War Thunder, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. Choose from over 2,000 historically accurate vehicles from World War II to the modern era, showcasing incredible graphics and detail in 4K resolution, while giving you that authentic feel as you fully immerse yourself into the atmosphere. Available on Xbox, PlayStation, Windows, and Mac. So if you are looking to engage other players from all around the world in intense PvP battles or even teaming up with friends in cooperative missions, well look no further, giving you an in-depth customization system to upgrade your vehicles from tanks to ships that are extremely detailed and even modeled down to the individual components, giving the player a truly immersive combat experience. Respectfully, I enjoyed being able to strike my enemies down in a JU-87B2, which is pretty much a really good aircraft, making sure ground or naval units were unaware, watching the skies for any unwanted airstrikes in complete terror just before fleeing the grounds in all of the destruction and fire. Play War Thunder today and using my link you'll get a large free bonus pack including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and so much more. I couldn't believe what a wizard this man was. You gonna, you're just gonna sit there? You're just gonna sit there after everything we've done, after all of that. You got it? Okay, go do it, buddy. You got this. I believe in you. Where are you going? Where, where are you going? What I was looking for was stairs. Try and build stairs. While that was a huge success, our daily dose of cannibals showed no mercy to the base. On this very new day here, first thing I managed was breaking the game. My game is glitched again! What? Are, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just, literally, I, you go into the options and you... you it's... It, uh, Okay. Afterwards, I was seeing how I could build out the dock some more. Was it even possible with all the stones in the way? It seemed our luck started to change with more and more cannibals joining the party as well. Not only was my armor being torn off fast, the compound bow seemed to prove some trouble. I didn't know where to aim with no real sight, so trying to headshot anyone seemed next to impossible. I even tried shooting some arrows on practice targets to see if it would help any. Just when I thought I was getting close to her, Virginia runs away all panicked-like. Well, there's people. No, don't cry! Don't cry! Ooh, that's my arrow. Oh, 
You're so loud! Stop it! Stop being so loud! Moments later, the best thing happened as we figured out the other side of the stairs. Definitely what I wanted. Definitely what I wanted. I want it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <gasps> it's us! And it, it went up there! Oh, cool! Like, this is what I was trying to do. Simple steps, man. Simple steps. Anyone hungry for some fish? Oh, can you eat this stuff too? <gasps> Wait, is that the fish as well? Oh, <laughs> it is! Look at that! So apparently when you're hanging stuff on the drying rack, it's actually, they've gone a step even further. The next best thing was figuring out if the cross worked on all creatures or if it was just the demons in later caves. Let me just get my flashlight. Flashlight. All right, here we go. Oh man, it's, feels like it's been forever since I played this game. <laughs> But it really hasn't been that long. Time for the cross. I hope you're ready. Are they demons? Oh, they look so freaky just looking at you. I don't think it really works on them. It only worked on the other guys. So I'm going to have to do something else here. So there's uh, quite a few. Kill up. Kill them. Kill them all. Woo. Oh, so many people. That was a headshot and you're still walking? Can you just get hit, get hit, get hit, get hit? This one still has hair. Whoa, this is like an elder. Oh my God, they took off all my armor too. You sons of mother flipping. Come here, come here. I'm gonna kill you. Kill you, kill you, kill you. Oh my God. Taking our travels elsewhere, it led us to gorgeous waterfalls and some campground with tents left for the picking. This would be a cool place to build. Like just up over that uh, waterfall. I would like that. Oh man. Oh, mama. Okay. We got more music. This is cool. I love the music. Oh, we got a winter jacket. Yo. I didn't. Oh, man. That's going to help so much. Where's Kevin? Kevin, are you coming, buddy? You coming? I want to I wanna show you guys something really cool. <laughs> Uh, take item? Take... Oh, <gasps> can I dress him up in a tuxedo? Oh! <laughs> My boy Kevin looking spiffy! What? Yo, you a fancy AF wizard. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, yo, that looks so good on you. Dude, hello? Kevin, I'm gonna need you to... Clear, take a break, stay, build, get. <gasps> Radio! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Uh, and follow me. Yo, 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 watch this, watch this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on. Uh No, I get it. I get that there are people, but you you threw the you threw it. Where did you throw? It was unfortunate that Kelvin the wizard bugged the music out of existence, but that took us to new lands. What if I crouch? I'm gonna crouch and I'm gonna go in really sneaky beaky like I think the hatch is just over here. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. Don't worry, guys. You will never catch me. I'm too sneaky beaky. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> beat you, buddy. I beat you to it. All right, beautiful people. Hello. I'll be take the meat. So whatever this one is, definitely not this one. And it looks like we're running back. With all that done, the question now was, tell Kelvin the good news or leave the music for another day. Another day it was. It didn't stop there, though, because apparently my eyes were playing tricks on me, too. I think it's down here. Whee! White water rafted. That hurt. Don't do that. Okay. All right. A cave? Hold on. Is, is was that a cave? That's not right there. By now, backtracking seemed like the only thing to do, especially with more updates out for the game and just seeing what changes were made to Sons of the Forest. Whoa, Puffton employee record management, high security risk. Is this the guy in silver? Name, uh, Jian Yu Zhang, security department assistant. Whoa, I never noticed that actually. Feeling confused and yet happy because the basic bow offered exactly what I needed. So we take the bow. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. 
Aw, see, this is a perfect example of, like, the cool things they added to the game, even before. She's crying. Like, that's so... I know, right? It's just so sad. Had the bow, sure, but I still wanted more. And by that, I meant the samurai sword. The legendary sword said to be used by legends in a time of need. There was also this guy. What do you have there, person? What are you carrying? What is that? Are you supposed to have that? <laughs> what? Oh my god, are you, are you supposed to <gasps> Seriously? You can just have... <laughs> Oh my god! Is that like the motor thing of a boat? That looks like the end. Oh my god! You, th this is just blowing my mind right now. I've never. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Still trying to understand what just happened. All I could really do was find the bunker and search high and low for the sword. Spotted a demon bear that looked at me a certain way just sitting there out in the hall. A few guns laying about just in case I wanted to go Rambo. And an interesting piece of paper. Where's that sword at? It, it's gotta be, if it's not here, it has to... Crosses burn demons. I never picked this up before. Whoa. Okay. Holy crap. The only other place I thought to retrace my steps was around the story progression with Timmy. Would I be able to find the sword there? Katana! K katana? Katana? Is that a katana in the guy? That's just the potter. Oh, it's a potter. Oh, you can play golf? Whoa, I literally just went down. Maybe we could like putt some balls here. If I can't find it here, like if we don't find it here, then I don't think I'm right at all. And I just haven't been to the place yet. Oh, Katana. Oh my God. Yo, I'm a samurai sword. The samurai Jack. Oh, look how fast it is. My God, and I came in here before too. We had the drinks and everything. I just apparently missed it right here. While out in the muck today, it poured and rained as we began our journey back home through the thickest of snow as the cold temperatures froze us to our core. I was also trying to find anything or anyone around that was willing to taste my steel. It was a great find when I got back home, some cannibals throwing shade at my base. It's not like I was trying to finish it or anything. It even got to the point where fighting a single cannibal had me so frustrated. I kid you not, they didn't just come every single day, but every single hour in game. Like they were relentless. While trying to be as still as I could, it would have been great to know I was about to die. It got to a point where we finally arrived at home. All I could think or do was find and build some sort of defense, anything really. Maybe use sticks and then chopping them down into sharp stakes, which didn't work by the way, especially with the way we had them built. The next best thing was YouTube. Giving up my practical defense builds because they just didn't work, it seemed YouTube would be the next best thing. Funny enough, I actually found someone by the name of Mr. Green and like props to Mr. Green, he had an idea to build something so cool and with a really great concept. Personally, I don't know what happened here, but it just didn't work for me. The last part of this build was placing sticks down inside so they wouldn't break easy and have the extra support. Sharpening them all up even gave it a really nice fresh take. Then again, it definitely wouldn't be a fun and enjoyable video for you if I didn't rage some, right? What I really needed now was for me to build a better base in a new and more safe area. The craziest part about all this setup was just the sheer amount of cannibals that came and went. Non-stop too. Something else I still had yet to try was the chainsaw. Personally, it didn't feel as good as the last one, but it still got the job done. Tree by tree and plank by plank, the foundation slowly came together, feeling like we actually had a plan of sorts. I laid a few logs out into the water because I still wanted that base over the pond, having that extra protection whenever it wasn't winter. So now with a wall and a few supports, the grapple hook really shined through here. The rest came easy. I'm chopping down a lot more trees and because I still preferred the fireman's axe over the chainsaw, sending them down the zip line and filling in more walls to the start of something new. Looking back at it now, I didn't fully understand the building mechanics and don't get me wrong, I still don't, but I do eventually learn a few tricks to save us from placing support beams. With everything looking great on the inside, I made a little step up to the next floor. Standing there and just taking the wind, the ambiance in, 
it sounded so peaceful and any longer could probably put me to sleep. However, we did manage to throw some more logs onto the zipline, thinking of ways to improve our food source and deciding on something aquatic. With the last few pieces of the top floor finished, this was just the beginning for what was to come. Angry, a little frustrated, and tired. I wasn't allowed to stop here though. We needed this place up and running. On top of that, we also needed another wall built and with a twist for what was to come. Frankly, the wall was the easiest part and with this additional update, made it even better. With still no time to slow down, we placed log after log on the zipline, having them stored inside while making sure the wall was finished up. I couldn't believe how fast the snow came though, because in my mind, I was so distracted and focused. Next thing I knew, and me just standing there enjoying the look of the place. Done as I was though, the wall looked even better than the previous base and the spiked portions added so much more to the aesthetics of the place. The last thing we ended up doing, and that twist I mentioned before, was placing sticks down in hopes of stopping the cannibals indefinitely. As you could imagine, there was no better time than now to start building over the ice while it was frozen. I would go on to placing the logs over the ice, shaping how the bridge would look, adding the beams in between and then the half planks to fill in the missing pieces, chopped down a few more trees and sent them on their way, realizing by this point I didn't have any leftover armor to protect us. So with the cannibals we slayed and cut down, I used their wonderful bodies for more bones. The next few days here were pretty nice to us, not because of how many trees were chopped down or even seeing Virginia, but the simple fact with how well the place was coming together. Slowly or not, I personally felt real progression on my side finally and started to enjoy building more than I ever thought. Today, I went out of my way, trying my best not to be weird or aggressive with Virginia. Hello, Virginia. Hello again. How are you? And you're running. It's okay, one of these days, man, she'll become our best friend. You know, it's just, it's gonna happen. I don't know when, can't really say because she's very uh, sporadic. It seems she really started to visit us more often than not and I needed her friendship. Oh, hey, you're just waiting here for me? Aw. Oh, we got people incoming. We got people, we got people. Hello, uh, how are we gonna do this? Go for the legs. You guys, you guys wanna come over here? Come on. What are you doing to your buddy? Ow. Your turn. Go for the legs. Oh, go for the legs. Sweep the legs. Sweep the leg. Come on, come on. Damn it. No, no, no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Whew. All right, I was uh, panicked <laughs> way too hard there. With a new day here, I really got to using those zip lines to their full potential, waiting to see if Virginia would do anything. She did not. Having a good chunk of the bridge built, though, things seemed to take on a life of their own. I should have also closed the door, but hey. There we go. Got the leg. All right. You just got to sweep the leg. You sweep the leg and they're dead. A big part of me was hoping to have the entire thing finished, but the timing was off and before I knew it, the frozen pond was no more. <gasps> oh no, the snow's gone. So we slept and the snow's gone, guys. Okay, I hope this holds up. I didn't get to finish, unfortunately, but you know what? We built out for the first part of this uh, winter. And that just means they're gonna start getting more aggressive now too, because this is when they come back out. Oh man. <gasps> oh, the water, it's, it's, it's water water. Oh no, I mean, oh yes? I mean, so it does hold up. I hope it stays like this. Like, I hope it just doesn't degrade or anything and it stays like this. Because now I feel so safe. We just gotta watch this, but I mean, come winter time, honestly, that, that's gonna be fine too. Like, I don't mind. Having some time here, I started to lay down more sticks for that extra defense. Though it seemed that wouldn't matter so much because leaving my door open, the cannibals always found a way inside my place. Oh, come on. All right, we got big guys attacking our stuff. I should have closed the door. I really should have. All right, all your legs are gone. Literally, they're... <laughs> you guys, can, can you stop that? I gotta just leave that closed. Oh, that's a hot piece of leg going on right there. Look how shiny that is. That... <laughs> 
<laughs> what is wrong with me? We get with some new logs and a zip line leading to the bridge, we could throw up some more beams and see how much we could get done. Noticing that I didn't use Calvin as much up until now, the first task I decided to give him and he goes and does this. Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. And then come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We're going to do get logs and drop here. Oh, you got this tuxedo, man. You got this. I believe in you. All right. <gasps> Dude, not this tree. Ah, hold on. I got to get rid of it. The plan now was to set up more zip lines across the board, giving more freedom to chop and quickly store them. Then taking those same logs and building up the bridge some more. My turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. Here we go, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da -da. Da -da -da. Get stuck, son. All right, what do we... We need lights in here for sure. I was trying to remove that, but I got to move those two if I want to get rid of it. And now to finish the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Lucky for me, I had a secret fan who got closer and closer with every visit. Wait, I'm actually curious though. Does this go like really deep? If it does, what is down here? I haven't checked the water in a bit. So maybe we find stuff like maybe there's algae or different types of fish or also there's a oh, hey there's a man with rope and you didn't make it sorry to hear that i gotta go back up at the end of the night i was very relieved to have most of the bridge done and these beautiful torches placed on other sides it added so much to the nightlife oh it's so bright at night look at it oh i mean why wouldn't it be but man this really helps hello See, we're not like friend friend, but we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. I'm just going to light that up now. All right. Did I mention we had lots of bones and not once used them until today? So that's exactly what I did. Swinging on over with another zip line to our first base, the bones were just sitting there and collecting dust. Okay, so how much armor how much armor do we have now? Let's see. Let's take a look. I think this is max we have oh no max is 10 okay i mean we have so many bones man i think that was a lot of stuff i was doing in the beginning just farming people so no better use than a full set of armor plus more making it back home now i could grab bunches of logs and start on the set of stairs the stairs that would then lead us to the second floor i wanted something nice that overlooks the wall and something that went over the water i did spend a little too much time here admiring the base from afar but i mean hey it looks pretty good Yo, wait, are those people in my house? How do they get- Ah, uh, they probably just climb over. Oh yeah, another thing I should have mentioned was how cool the log holders were in this game. All right, we got a lot of logs. We need more. More, more, more logs, come on. The hardest problem for me was trying to figure out the inside and how to get rid of clutter. There were too many logs taking up unnecessary space and i needed room to walk around in we did come to this conclusion shortly afterwards filling in the majority of the roof and then taking everything we could down to get rid of this beam that was misplaced with that said and done the final product of our second floor was finished chef's kiss oh as you could probably tell by now i was setting up a zip line from the crash site to our base i gotta play my cards right and make sure i go Ow, not like that. Okay, jeez, slowly. <laughs> Already hurting myself. I think I have to go... Okay, so that goes way to home, and then that there, and if we go... Mm, I'm gonna hit this tree. No, I'm gonna hit this tree. Oh, 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 I got it! I got it! I got it right here! Oh my god, that actually... That, why did that scare me so much? Let him behold a mutant just waiting close by. I've got Ninja Thor for you. <laughs> Wow, look at me go look at me go the biggest reason for the second floor was to allow me in storing extra items or things i just didn't use right now and no i didn't forget to give calvin a place to relax okay i did that too something i really wanted to finish today was those rock holders and placing more rocks for a stick defense because one side was apparently not strong enough oh that's the wrong way oh crap and all right, wasn't that funny? Was not that funny, guys. Was not that funny. I'm gonna be honest with you. Kind of wasn't funny. Oh my God. With everything seemingly fixed by now, the log holders needed more logs and for me to chop down more trees. I also made sure to give Calvin his daily goal for helping us around the place. It's also that time in the video. And if you made it this far, comment Krabby Patty down below. Today, I was headed to the closest 3D printer in search for more zipline pieces and stuff to make armor if I ever needed it. 
which was kind of ironic because I always needed armor. While making our way back outside, the ziplines placed definitely needed a little fixing up. But once I got the hang of them, it seemed pretty a okay. Oh, I got it. 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 I just can't to say I love you. Do -do -do. Do -do. Hey, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? While back at home, I was trying to think of ways and stuff I could do with more logs. Seemed like I was out of ideas, but soon enough, I tried something completely different and unhinged, especially for me. So with the next few days and even up to a week, it began. The gathering of more logs and then building a giant watchtower that scraped the tallest points of this game. Did it actually happen? I got close. And by close, I, I not, not at all. Not at all. So this, this is about to become 50 feet in the air. I want to build the highest, the tallest skyscraper I can. And I want to test the limits. I want to see how tall this game really is. Okay. I want to see how tall this game is. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take all these trees and make the tallest thing I can. I don't know what's going to happen. Kevin also did an awesome job with the rock holders and filling them up. The only way I knew how to build up was using this lazy stairway and then extending out when I needed to build higher and higher. One level after the next. The watchtower was soon to be the landmark for days to come. There were a couple of times I'd run up the logs and come back down, heart stopping and all. Like, my stomach was just turning. Something that did irk me quite a bit. However, with each day that passed, or let's say you sleep away a night, cannibals do spawn in the game randomly. And lucky for me, I had this AoE mutant guy beating up Calvin and my base. For now though, the watchtower would have to wait. As much as I wanted this towering monstrosity, my base needed a few more touch-ups and upgrades. Going around with rocks Calvin collected from previous days, they really gave the base this other feel. More full and well protected. Or at least that's what my brain thought. Filled in a few more sticks to the wall, eventually placing down stone to help fortify them. And once again, using the compound bow to see if I could kill this mutant. These cannibals also caught me off guard at the end of my bridge. They were just waiting there. With another snow-filled day, which I honestly preferred when building and gathering, cannibals are scarce, and it's so much easier seeing everything out there in the cold. The plan for now was what updates did the game have and what else could I do? I know that a few people didn't think there was enough content to make another video, and if they didn't update the game as much as they had, I'd probably agree. But here we are though, looking for that darn hang glider. I did have this great idea of climbing the tallest point in the game, which would of course be the snowy mountains. This would be a good place for tobogganing or, or sledding. Continued my path as we trekked through the snow, finding ourselves cold and hungry, but with huge amounts of determination. Oh, look how the clouds work. That's so cool. Whoa. Oh, that is so interesting. It's getting really cloudy. Oh, God. What's happening? Can I be worried? <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh, this looks like a good place to slide down. Just wee you all the way down, right? While trying to get warm by the next morning, all I could do was think how fast or how much speed could we pick up here? We have saved it, and now it is time. Let's... Go, baby! Here we go, 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 here we go. Oh, super slide boat! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, don't turn! Oh, my stomach. Oh, you ever just get butterflies? Oh my god! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Round two. No, we're stuck again. Again! 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 Oh my god! Oh! Uh, that wasn't real. Okay. Oh man, just like Santa. Oh, oh holy crap. Something I loved about playing video games in general, when looking for stuff, I never found anything. But when I stopped looking and just enjoyed the moment, I found everything. And a little pond. Oh, well, let me in. Not a pond right now, but it will be. It oh, wait, what, what, what? Are we supposed to have two gliders in the game? I got two gliders. Is there someone else? <laughs> oh my god, you scared me. Is there someone else in my game? Can you just leave us alone right now? Leave us alone right now! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glider! Uh what is what's that green thing? How do you how do you, you just glide? You just run and glide! Oh god, this is gonna be scary. <gasps> Holy crap! I'm doing it! 
I'm really doing it. Oh, get the camera. Mom. Oh, my God. Yo, this is so cool. Right or left? Left or left? Left, 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 left. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da -da -da. It's your captain speaking. We're about to crash, everybody. Woo! Give me, give me, give me. With us making our way back home, something else I noticed on Calvin were these different commands we could give him depending on the situation. I need you to go get sticks and fill the holders. Wait, actually, wait, build? Filter, fire. Cool, okay. Take a break, buddy. You deserve a break. You've done enough. You take a break, wizard. Okay, yes, that's what I'm saying. With winter here, I could start building the other parts of my home. It's those small moments. It's the journey. You know, it's not the destination. It's always the journey. The journey is the most enjoyable, best part ever. More trees chopped down and placing all those logs for the idea of what was to come. I feel like she'll never become my friend in this playthrough. Like, I've tried everything. I... <gasps> She's dancing? She dances? Is that a thing? She's dancing. Oh... Okay, so maybe if you do a little too much, it takes just, it's long, it, oh, I, it, should I get closer? You're bringing me stuff too now? Well, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything, I'm just standing still. Just before starting our day here, it seemed we weren't alone. Okay, army of people. Ah! Alright, let's go boys. There's one leg, but two legs. Ooh, you like that? Yeah, you do. I, yeah, okay. I started to fill in more of the floor foundations and moments later, we had another odd interaction with Virginia. She never runs at me. So that was kind of sweet of her. Okay, thank you. With more of the base being built slowly, but surely today would really mark the day. I didn't think anything would happen because I tried all of last video to do everything I could, and this happened. Don't move, don't move. She's gonna give us stuff. Please don't attack us. Do you want me to go get it? Can I have that? She just gave us stuff. She just gave us stuff for the first time ever. I think it's in the snow, right? It's okay. You're fine. You're fine. Can I take that? What did she just give me? I don't know, but she gave us something. Oh my God. Oh, I mean, hey, at least that thing didn't attack us, right? That's the cool thing. More of the same today, except for one thing. Virginia. Oh, hey, hi. Hello. Hello. I guess we put that away. Okay, so now she's she's gotten so much better. She's like, we're okay. This is... Oh, this is so good. Uh... Are you going to give me the stick or are you going to take the stick? Just, I mean, hey, if you want the stick, take it and run, but... Oh! <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to put hearts on you because you're so adorable. Okay. And... Did she talk? Is that aloe? No, she just gave us aloe vera. Can I put this on you? Oh, wait, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> We're like friends. Look, I can dress her up now too. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I mean, if I gave you a dress, like that's cool. You look adorable, but it's winter. So you have a leather suit. No, 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 no. That's like underwear. You can't do that. Um, hold on. Is... <gasps> I can give you shorty gun. Oh, every move you make. Look at this, guys. We finally got her as a friend. Okay, so I can give you this, and I can give you that. But now I don't have that. But you do. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. Girl, you got it going on. Oh, my God. Okay, so she got shotgun and pistol. With a few more days here, I was able to finish up as much as I could. By this point in the game, I wasn't paying any attention to how long I had left because the new season was right around the corner. Good thing I was able to stock up on some armor today though. Had no idea how tough this game would be without a gun. That and I kind of gave Virginia all I had. Okay, let me close the door up real quick like. What the mother- Whoa, yo. I'm out of arrows, please. 
For the love of God, shoot him. But now with that on my mind, I felt like the only right thing to do was get ourselves another shotgun. The closest place was the grave of that military personnel too. So while being back in those lands, I don't know if it was specific or location, but it seemed like there was an endless supply of cannibals. They just kept coming one after the other. Best thing I could do was pick up the shotgun and turn tail as fast as I could. Oh wait, I've never actually looked at the body before. Whoa. Oh man, all right, no more of that. There was way too many people there. This place is so dangerous. Like, <laughs> gotta be a bunch of camps. Seeing that my fish traps felt further out, no better reason than to set up this rope for a quick access to the drying racks. All that was left to do now revolved around more trees for filling in the floor of this new build. Picking up the rocks that I did, we would then place them on top of the sticks for the defensive wall. This time I could say things were really filling in and we had plenty of supplies going around. Something else I learned while on the hunt for more fish is if you leave them for too long, especially in the traps underwater, they go bad pretty quickly. For what felt like the longest time, I went from using the axe and back to the chainsaw, seeing if there was any difference with how fast or good they would cut trees down. So the rest of our days here were spent transporting more logs onto the zip lines and into the center of the build, trying to fill in the floors as fast as I could in preparation for winter. Winter was coming, and I needed the majority done to start the roof and walls. What couldn't be better timing both winter was here and Calvin getting stuck? With more trees being chopped down into a pile and sent over the zipline, the hole was filled nicely and allowed for us to start finishing up the actual floor to the place. But the next few days, we managed to get enough trees chopped down and placed into the floor, finishing up another build, making sure I went around the foundations, placing the supports to all the wooden beams around. The day ahead wasn't too bad, but with more building inside our new place as we figured out the roof, all the while as I went around blasting another mutant away. Life was good, and so was my shotgun. The rest of winter gave us enough time to finish up most of the roof and any other spots left unchecked. When other seasons came along, we were more than protected and then some. What was great about the next couple of days, with us just filling in all the roof we could, the view here was like none other. It's been a crazy ride, but look at this. I like this video, this, this playthrough, this 100 days on this game. I mean, a lot of people kept telling me like, so what are you going to do? How are you going to find more content? There's not really much more to do. And I mean, you're not wrong. I just wanted to come back personally. This is more of like a personal project at this point where like I just wanted to build, you know, I just wanted to see what else I could build in this game, try to get Virginia on my side and get the ending, which I will. There's binoculars. There's another boss I wanted to try too. I think that'd be really, really cool. <laughs> You want me to come? No, that's not happening. You did that last time and I got lost. Mm -mm, no. Then I obviously had to ruin it with a fish. <laughs> Packing our bags up with some more bones, it was time to see what else this island had and any other updates we had yet to explore. Also, the ending with Virginia, that was a big one. I will say this first part was a lot of fun other than scaring myself half to death. We're doing free willy first and then binoculars. Dude, I don't even know where binoculars would be. Really? Now you're raining? You re you're really going to do that to me. To be honest, though, if there was any weather system to, you know, all over my face, right? I mean, <laughs> just, oh, that is a, uh, that is a, that is a thing. All right. Let's make this extra scary for me and you. Mostly me. Okay, that kind of <laughs> scared me already. Oh, my God. My heart jumped. I got plenty of armor. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> it's the worst thing. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm freaking myself out. Good God. This is, uh... Up we go. Hello again, Pistol. The one I gave to Virginia. I'm back. Why is it so big? That's my question. Closest I made it seemed like all the beach or shoreline was gone. I planned on walking around the entire map because I felt like something was missing. Continuing my journey around the island wasn't so bad, just a bit lonely. Though, not so lonely after finding a boat with some goodies, these killer whales, and a group of cannibals. Oh, they're fighting each other. Okay, just let them be. Ew, something's throwing up. That's yummy. Who's winning? Oh, definitely not the big guy. He's like having... Oh, they destroyed the tent! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I feel like I should just throw a granada in there and just run. Why not? We got grenades. Let's do it. <gasps> Granada! Oh, ha, 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 ha. 
We're good. So up ahead were some more islands that led me to believe there was something hidden or maybe a cave everyone missed. Truth be told, I constantly forgot that this game was in early access. The entire place did have a nice view, but wasn't really what I was looking for. What I found so cool about this game was just the exploration. Yes, the game was in early access, but on top of that, there was a lot to explore and to come across. And I came across another abandoned fishing place? I believe it was. The amount of cannibals just waiting for me here was surprising, but also gave me an idea. Ooh, some people up here. Whoa, there's a lot of things going on here. What the fuck? Hello? Why are there so many people here? What were you guys doing? Let me wind this sucker up, throw in another boop. This is actually kind of cool. I like it. I mean, it's a little slow rewind, but... <laughs> oh, headshot, baby! What are you doing? What are you doing? Everyone just loves headshots, man. I love headshots. Whoa, 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 whoa big guy. Did I not put a thing in there? Oh, I don't have any more arrows. Wait, no, do we? I don't think I do, huh? I guess we used them all up there. A revolver? Okay, this man needs to stop while I headshot every single person. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Wait right there. You hold on, hold on. All right, yeah, talk to me now, huh? Huh, Slim Jim? Huh? Whoa, what is Virginia doing out there? All right, cool. <laughs> I literally just like headshot everybody. Take off your leg. Yeah, the big guys are so easy to kill. Probably bigger, easier than the other ones. Something I didn't expect at all was another find out in the open. Oh, this is where you came aboard. Holy crap, okay. What do we got in here? Gr oh, Granada. What the, what? Mach <gasps> Yo, they got machetes in this game. Holy crap. I mean, to be honest, I never would have found it if I didn't go all the way around the map. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, we got machetes. Now, for this next day, I would have shown you prior, but I forgot that this cave I went into before, I fell down this rabbit hole, lost all my armor. I went there before, explored it. It was just pretty annoying. That said, I did continue around the island and found some pretty cool kayaks or maybe canoes. Oh, what I, I got? Uh, hold on. What? Yo, binoculars! What the fudge? Yo, okay, I'm gonna be honest, man. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm happy I got the binoculars. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is where you get the binoculars? You gotta find kayaks. Find these kayaks and you're good to go. Actually, here, I'll just show you on the map. What am I doing? Right here. Let me zoom out so you can see. Right there. That's where I am. Um, I put a bunch of markers down and everything, but I mean, it's closer to the main story marker. Oh, ho, ho, get ready for me to see super far. <gasps> Oh, that's actually kind of cool and super lucky. Oh my god. I didn't expect to find that at all, especially this quickly. Moments just before entering this hatch, I thought this was a different location entirely and got super lucky. Wait, is this the food hatch? I think I accidentally got to the food hatch. Uh, oh, hey, we made it to the food hatch by accident. I didn't think I'd do it this quickly. All right, cool. Something alive? I'm hearing something. What? 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 I don't like it. What the heck? Yo, these people spinning on me? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, crap. Hold on. Uh, I have no armor and I... Holy crap. Okay, hold on. Definitely gonna need a shotgun here. We don't need the flashlight anymore. Get that... Get, get that out of here. We don't need the flashlight. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my god! Ha! Oh, oh, ha! Help me! They're like in tuxedo stuff, right? Yo, why are you so tall though? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like how they're so tall. When you stand up, you're freaky. You freaky. Oh, we used all the good ammos. Oh crap. Oh crap. Actually, if I keep you in this corner... Uh, you don't- you won't like the wild wilder. Actually, you know what? I can't. Holy crap. Okay, we got one down. We got one down, guys. We got one down. I don't know. It was like a brides and groom. Where's the other one? Oh, no, 
dog, dog, dog. What, what, what do you look like? What do you look like? Oh. Wait, is this? No. Wait, is this the mom and dad? Do they make you fight the mom and dad? Did I just kill them? Did I kill the puffed in mom and the puffed in dad? Oh my god, I think I did. A really sad day for Virginia and seeing her parents like that. But also just as sad for these mutants as Virginia comes out of the woodwork like Terminator. Oh my god, that's who we're shooting? For some reason I thought like uh, there was another player with me and not... <laughs> Where did you even come from? This entire time I've been looking for you and all of a sudden you're okay. I mean, honestly, thank you, man. You, holy crap. The plan was simple. Just a few days left and with us having both Kevin and Virginia, we could all experience this new secret ending and see what the outcome would be. First, I had to make Kevin's drip look super dope. Other, I think the blazer, right? Ooh. What's the leather jacket like? Oh, yo, woo, my boy is looking like the one. Holy crap, that is sexy, dude. You are looking fine as heck. The biggest and only thing I could really say now was while traveling, I didn't know how much of a difference it made when you give Kevin a command to follow you. Normally, I just pray and hope he'd follow me when I left him. But if you give him a command, so different. Yo, Kevin's doing a pretty good job at following me, actually. Like, whoa, that's a first. Didn't expect it at all. Normally gets stuck on something. I mean, when I cross a river, it'll happen. What? Hey, you made it too. Holy crap, you did it. All right, I hope you're ready, buddy. This next and last part though, and what was crazy, all I needed was a flashlight and a cross. You guys are so right. This cross with the demons, it, it is such a good thing. It is so cool. I literally don't need any ammo. And even if I was to use ammo, honestly, it they just like, they're like sponges. They're, oh. Whoa, buddy! Oh, pal of mine! Can I get you? Why are there so many here, actually? Is that normal? I don't remember there being so many here. Whoa. But hey, the cross helps, like, a lot. A lot. Ah, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Ow, you got me. <laughs> this is the last ending. Keep your friends close. Oh, that's so sweet! They're like, all three of them are hugging! Oh! <laughs> okay, so this is apparently Timmy. This is me coming in. And then the other two, right? Please? Oh! Okay, so wait, Virginia isn't actually wearing the other outfit. Okay, wait, is Calvin wearing the other outfit too then or no? Oh, here we go, here we go. This is it, this is it. Oh, this is where... Okay. Whoa! I don't remember that. I guess that did happen though. Man... See this other realm? We need to go visit that. I know, right? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Look at oh. We really need to visit that. Oh man. There they are. The two came with me, man. Oh, the guy in silver did not make it. Oh, okay. Now I got to see the ending ending, you know, where, uh, Calvin, <laughs> Virginia, what's happening to her? Oh, this is so sweet. Sweet. What? Wait, did she... <gasps> did she die? Wait, I meant like sweet because like I thought she was doing like this cute thing. Did she just die? Timmy runs to his father. Okay. I don't remember if I saw that either. Hold on, I'm gonna go with them. I hope Virginia's okay. Did she die though? Because she was like... Technically, like mutation, like a mutate, like mutated. They, they hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, she's alive. Oh, she's alive. She's alive. She's alive. She's alive. Oh, my God. Kelvin. Oh, my God. It's a full thing. Oh, okay. So she was just being sweet. Oh, my God. I thought I was a douche right there. She, like, dies. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. I have to say to each individual out there from watching my videos to all the support and love around the content I've made and so much more, just thank you. I adore every single one of you and will always do everything I can to always keep things genuine and honestly just entertaining, just fun. But this is Ray Pandas signing out. A huge shout out to War Thunder again for sponsoring today's video, which I highly recommend you join the amazing battle and check out the game today. Remember to use my link in the description down below to earn free bonus packs, premium vehicles, boosters, and so much more.